as the Sharks try and put together a streak in the other direction. They snapped an eight-game losing streak on Monday with a 6-4 win, led by Evander Kane, who had a career high tying four point night sitting on 898 points Kozhenash a nice save there off a giveaway in their own zone by the Sharks now Tomas Hurdle works his way to center and sets up in the zone across for Kane he scores Barabanov sets up Evander Kane and a minute 12 in it's one nothing he gets inside the offense right there. He pulls it back, gives himself a little time. Barabarov right there threads it through to Kane, who's got nothing but an empty net there to deposit it in on Kemper. And so they score 19 seconds in on Monday, and now they get another one here just a minute and some change in. Barabanov down low. Puck comes out to the side of the net. Kessel there. Boston Kraus with a backhander. And Kozhenosh able to find it and hang on. Guys are on their toes right here now in this first period. Here's Patrick Marlowe, a rester, then saved by Kemper. Opportunity for Blickfeld on that rebound, but it got past him. Kanijov using the boards to get it across to his D partner, Carlson. And now Marlowe. Patrick cuts to the inside on his backhand over to Carlson. He'll fire it right to the net, and Kemper with the save. And here come the Desert Dogs, because the St. Louis Blues came from behind tonight and won 4-3 over the Minnesota Wild. And that now puts them three in front of the Desert Dogs, NCAA hockey. And he left a big footprint on that program and their quickly established credibility. A scramble at the Sharks net, cleared by the bank, but not out. Back toward the goal, but blocked before it got to Kojanaj. And now Alex True steers it up for Kevin LeBanc. Chikrin. Over to Peterson, now they change sides. This is Broussard, back for Chalmerson, and a glove save by Kojana. Couldn't control it, trying to bring it back in was Couture. Now Logan battling on the far side, a stick came up on him. And he reaches to his face, and the Sharks score! Rudolph's bolsters, and it's 2-0! Add some action to this line and right on the right side is Couture takes a high stick and Bolsters picks this puck up and takes it right in around Kemper and tucks it in on the backhand. Beautiful speed. He's looking like he's going to pass. Kemper has to respect the shot and as he pulls it to the backhand just... Now Ekman Larson across for Ilya Libushkin. Ekman Larson is shot and Kozhenaj pushing hard. Read that well. Glove save and now bunting. Goligoski and it comes to True. He'll send it ahead and Gregor's got a step on the defender. No icing here. Gregor out front. Alex True. Another chance and LeBanc scores! Kevin LeBanc and it's 3-0 again! zone makes a play throws it all the way on an indirect down in the offensive zone Gregor uses his legs to get to that puck first and throws it out front to true who started it tries to get the puck through can't hits off Kemper's leg and there LeBanc hit the brakes in front of the net you never know what could happen Kevin LeBanc does exactly that I love Gregor taking a look throws it out front perfect pass to true that shot gets blocked next one comes in the first period here coming into the game which was tied worse than the NHL. Big shift here for Arizona. And a save by Kozhenaj, and he's got the rebound. Back for Demers, over to Keller. He'll pass to, the ke to Kessel, back to Keller. Over to Schmaltz, they score! What a sequence by the Coyotes. They held it, moved it, held it, moved it, and finally put it in call and the Arizona Coyotes held on to that puck for a long time like they did on this sequence and you can see the Sharks now getting tired kind of bundled up in a little bit of a kind of a tight in front of the house we call it and right there underneath Leonard in the Kessel and just kind of redirects it in the back of the net Schmoltz with a good pass and he had a good game last on Monday night as well it's some good zone time here Barabana with Kane behind the goal. Evander sorts it out. Kane looks, shoots, and Kemper's got it in his glove. They had a power play opportunity, but they scored on the pulled goaltender. Now they get the official one here as the Sharks get out of that situation. 
to get the whistle. Now the faceoff win by Arizona produces one shot on their power play. Alex Goligoski weaving his way up ice and then dumping it back. Goligoski with three assists in his last two games. Chikrin with a shot off the glove of Kozhenos and then just wide of the net. While wow, Bunting interfered with Kanijov at the blue line, got away with it. And they're talking to the official now on the interference. And there's a nice stop there by Kozhenos. As the Coyotes start the period on the power play with the fresh ice. But Tomas Hurdle does his best to kill some time winning that face off. And now here's Kane in with Hurdle. Back for Demers. And across for Chalmerson. Hunt released. He'll get it to Larson. Now up the middle. Chalmerson saved by Kozhenos. Chalmerson back to the net. And they score. Johan Larson. And it's 3-2. Gets a gift as this puck gets centered here. And that one is a great stop, but the rebound comes off Kojanosh. And this play right here, that's where it goes off of Hurdle. And then as Kojanosh just is kind of trying to recover back in front of his own net, it finds a hole into the five hole there in between his legs from Larson here as he just kind of slaps it in towards the goaltender. They started the year that way, then Buchner broke that up. And now he's brought it back together again, trying to solve this problem. Here's a shorthanded bit for Larson and Kozhenosh out to make the save. Now Carlson over to Barabanov. He'll shoot. Blocked by Christian Fisher. Burns again. End of the power play. Save. Rebound. Hurdle trying to find it to Carlson. And it won't go in. And now Goligoski out of the penalty box. But such is the life of a hockey player. I would have... Did you tell me you've never lost a two? No, I lost one. Did you? Yeah. In the back. A molar of all things. Hurdle turns, shoots. That's blocked. Burns working on the offensive end with Kane. Tried to wrap it around. Kane again. Denied by Kemper, who had the pad down. Boy, well, Noah Gregor had a good hit on Labushkin there at that in the neutral zone there. Here's a giveaway by Ekman Larson, and he hooks Marlowe. Marlowe gets away and can't tuck it in past Kemper. What's the call going to be here? Just the hook. Eek there. Arizona 23, two minutes for hooking. Now Carlson. He'll come up top. Looks at the net, gives it to Hurdle, a one-timer saved by Kemper, and it snapped Hurdle's stick, and he's got to get off, and that takes a bit of the advantage away. Gets away, and back to Burns up top. Kane in front, trying to redirect it in. Ferraro races across from center, shoots, and hit the post! You could practice trying to hit that post all day, and you wouldn't, but he just did. There's a muffin thrown up the ice by Chikrin. Almost came back into his own net. Now Hurdle, empty net chance, and he scores! He's playing really smart defense. Couture throws it back to Ferraro, finds Hurdle up at the blue line. Chikrin can't recover. And when you give Tomas Hurdle time and space, he's going to make you look like a cone and that's not saying anything towards Chikrin it's just a good play of Hurdle. The time is going to run out on Arizona and they will fall three behind St. Louis now and the Blues have three games in hand in the battle for the final playoff spot in the Honda West. <laughs>